Wall Street keeps arguing about whether AI is a bubble, but the money has already been committed. The world's largest hyperscalers are projected to spend over $600 billion in capital expenditures in 2026, up roughly 36% from 2025, and an estimated $450 billion of that is expected to go directly into AI infrastructure. Not apps, not software hype, infrastructure. Servers, accelerators, power, cooling, and data centers. And this is where most investors get it wrong. In cycles this large, the biggest winners are rarely the loudest AI stories. They're the companies controlling the physical choke points, the ones solving power constraints, thermal limits, system density, and performance per watt. We're already seeing proof. One AI infrastructure player just posted 250% year-over-year revenue growth. Another is preparing to launch two nanometer processors as AI workloads threaten to consume up to 50% of data center electricity by 2030. And another just suffered a 50% stock correction, even as next generation AI servers move into mass deployment. This is not a hype phase anymore. This is the industrialization phase of AI, where execution matters more than vision. In this video, I'm breaking down three stocks that sit exactly at the center of this shift. Three companies aligned with where AI spending must go next, not where headlines want it to go. Let's start with the one that quietly removed its biggest overhang and locked in tens of billions in future revenue. First on the list is Applied Digital Corporation, ticker symbol APLD. And this company perfectly embodies the infrastructure thesis we just outlined. Applied Digital isn't trying to win the AI software race. It's doing something far more strategic, owning the power-ready, AI-optimized data center capacity that hyperscalers desperately need. And after years of skepticism, the execution is finally showing up in the numbers. Q2 FY26 was a defining quarter. Revenue surged to $126.6 million, representing 250% year-over-year growth, driven almost entirely by high-performance computing hosting as the company pivots away from crypto. During the quarter, Applied successfully energized 100 megawatts at Polaris Forge One, bringing its first AI data center fully online and on schedule, an important credibility milestone. But the real story isn't quarterly revenue, it's what's already locked in. Across Polaris Forge One and Polaris Forge Two in North Dakota, Applied has now secured 600 megawatts of leased capacity, translating to approximately $16 billion in prospective lease revenue over long-term contracts. To put that into perspective, the company's trailing 12-month revenue was only $264 million. That gap alone explains why the market is starting to reprice this stock. And management isn't done. On the earnings call, Applied disclosed advanced discussions for an additional 900 megawatts across three sites, potentially phased and finalized in early 2026. If confirmed, that would more than double its already massive AI footprint. Yes, profitability is still a few years out. Gap EPS isn't expected to turn positive until around 2028, but this is exactly how infrastructure cycles work. Heavy upfront capex followed by long dated contracted cash flows. Importantly, Applied is also spinning off its loss making cloud services business into Chronoscale, removing a major profitability overhang that investors had been flagging for years. Increasingly, this company is starting to look less like a speculative builder and more like an emerging AI data center REIT. For investors focused on where AI dollars must flow, Applied Digital is one of the cleanest infrastructure plays at this stage of the cycle. Now shifting from power and real estate to silicon itself, the second stock on this list is Advanced Micro Devices, ticker symbol AMD. And this is where the AI race gets far more interesting than most people realize. AMD is no longer just the NVIDIA alternative. It's rapidly becoming a full-stack AI systems player, positioning itself directly inside hyperscaler budgets for 2026 and beyond. The momentum is already visible. AMD's data center business has become its primary growth engine, with recent quarters showing data center revenue climbing into the multi-billion dollar range. In fact, AMD has now surpassed Intel in server momentum, driven by EPYC CPU share gains and growing adoption of its instinct AI accelerators. But the real catalyst is what's coming next. AMD's upcoming Venice architecture built on TSMC's advanced 2 nanometer process, is expected to deliver major gains in performance per watt, a critical advantage as AI workloads are projected to consume up to 50% of total data center energy by 2030. Power efficiency is becoming a budget constraint, not just a technical metric. At the same time, AMD is moving up the value chain. Through its Helios rack scale platform, 
The company is bundling CPUs, GPUs, networking, and software into integrated AI systems. This allows AMD to capture margin that historically went to third-party integrators, while making deployments easier for hyperscalers operating at massive scale. The OpenAI partnership is a major validation here, not as a press headline, but as a multi-year demand signal. OpenAI is one of the most demanding AI compute customers on the planet, and AMD being selected tells us the Instinct roadmap is competitive with NVIDIA's Blackwell and Rubin architectures. Software was once AMD's Achilles heel. That gap is closing. The ROCM ecosystem has matured significantly, reducing friction for developers and narrowing the historical CUDA advantage. Yes, AMD trades at a premium on near-term earnings, but when you consider 40% plus growth rates, expanding margins, and a multi-year AI CapEx cycle that's still in early innings, the valuation looks less like excess and more like priced-in execution with upside optionality. Finally, we move to the execution layer, the company that physically turns all this silicon and power into working AI factories. The third stock is Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI, and this might be the most misunderstood AI stock in the market right now. Supermicro sits at the center of AI server deployment, specializing in high-density, liquid-cooled systems that modern large language models increasingly require. As AI models grow larger and more power-hungry, traditional air-cooled racks simply don't scale, and this is where Supermicro has built a real competitive edge. Yet despite this positioning, the stock suffered an almost 50% correction after margin pressure and delayed customer purchases spooked investors. Revenue declined 15% year-over-year, and gross margins compressed to around 9.5%. On the surface, that looks ugly, but context matters. Much of this weakness was driven by product transition timing, not collapsing demand. Supermicro is now rolling out next-generation NVIDIA HG300 and Blackwell-class systems, which carry meaningfully higher margins. Management has also pointed to significant backlog tied to these platforms, suggesting revenue and profitability normalization in 2026. Here's what makes the setup compelling. Valuation. Supermicro is currently trading at roughly 10 times forward earnings, assuming prolonged margin pressure, even as AI server demand continues growing at double-digit rates globally. That disconnect creates a favorable risk-reward profile, especially for patient investors. Unlike speculative AI names, Supermicro is already profitable, deeply embedded in hyperscaler supply chains, and diversified across NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel platforms. It doesn't need to win the AI chip war. It benefits regardless of who does. In a market obsessed with chip designers, Supermicro represents the picks and shovels execution layer. If margins simply stabilize and AI CapEx remains resilient, this stock has the potential to re-rate meaningfully from depressed levels. So when you strip away the hype, this is what the AI supercycle really looks like. Power, silicon, and execution. Applied Digital controls the land and megawatts. AMD delivers the compute efficiency and system-level intelligence. And Supermicro turns it all into deployable AI factories. These aren't momentum trades. They're infrastructure bets aligned with where AI spending must go next. That doesn't mean zero risk, but it does mean the odds are being shaped by long-dated contracts, real demand, and physical constraints. If you're positioning for the next phase of AI, not the last one, these are exactly the kinds of names worth understanding deeply. Let me know which one you want broken down further in the next video.